Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the breakfast show, Money Talk with Smart Robbie. I'm your host, Martin Mong. So, how's everybody after the usual break that I'll be taking? I hope you all uh, had a good rest on Tuesday. So, do take note of the new time that we have. So, you could see it on the earlier display on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As a Tuesday, I may gather some good news or some interesting stock pick or story that I would like to present to you on Wednesday. So this is our Money Talk with Smart Robbie. Now, as usual, some of you who are listening for the first time, just type one so I do know some of our uh, talk that we do here are tailored for you and uh, that would definitely be great uh, if you're type one. And as usual, uh, do share this video in your timeline or in your group. I really appreciate that. That is the small token appreciation for the information they are giving to you, which is, I believe, are uh, highly, highly important and critical if you are a uh, up-to-date investor or trader, especially in this market we are seeing in it. Now, don't forget, those of you who are listening for the first time, when you type one, do download the Smart Robbie and share and get the free credit. Now, let's move on to our first story for this morning in here. It's no other than... Ta-da! <laughs> That's right. So our first story for this morning is, and this appeared on the HCO. So when I saw this, I said, hey, this is something I need to report to all of you for all my audience. Huh? Is it time to short the KLSCI? You know, because the market has been really making a good run. So there is a real concern in here. But let's take a look at the normality, which also the same article, news article already covered too. So you can see right now, the small cap stock, I think many of you, uh, especially the small retailer, investor, you and me, we tend to invest in a lot of these small cap stocks. So you can see right there, let me just bring up my uh, laser pointer here. And you would know right now, the KLCI is one of the big mover out there. Of course, we all know. Lah. Thanks. Remember what we talk about it? Thanks. T-H-K-S. That's right. Tank is Top Glove, Hata, Kosan, and Superbank, which continue to uh, continue to be in our screen every day. Uh, so that's what we are seeing this market in here. Thanks. So right now, the small cap stock is playing a lot of catch up in here. Now, also within the same line, you will notice that among the regional performer compared to Jakarta and uh, Singapore and Thailand, Malaysia is one of the best performer. Of course, right? Malaysia has a, one of the largest retailer. And just, I think last week or a couple of days ago, we hit 12.5 billion. Even Busa Malaysia trading have to hop because Tablet Tahan, just too many of the volume coming in there. They hopped last Friday, 3.30 in there. I, I hope they fix the thing in here. But... The story that revolves around why it is time to short is because why a lot of the analysts coming in to the COVID and also looking at what we call the economic, those of you still remember what we call the great disconnect, right? That's why I said some of our audience who listen usually, I always say that please go and listen to the great disaudience in there and try to figure out what's really happening, why the market is doing for what it is, all right? So I think this is, this is really important. So also at the same time, what they are also saying, say, hey, look, this market, like it or not, now is very funny because we already crossed 1,600, isn't it? Right now, it is 1,600, around 1,600, but the year end is 1,500, so naturally they say it's time to short. What do you think? Now, if you like what I say here, give me a thumbs up, okay? So I'll make sure you guys are paying attention. Now, also in the same line, the analysts are seeing, now take note of those of you who are watching, they see a major decline or a mild correction when the vaccine for COVID-19 is fully deployed or ready to deploy any of those kind of uh, scenarios. So it's talking about it. So they are saying, look, vaccine has been very hot right now and that's why you know we want to we like to see a mild correction what do you think do you think the market's going to correct or not just type it in there and your reply i want to know what you think are we going to see a decline or not a decline when we see this uh, uh vaccine deployed all right now let's move on to our next news of very interesting story revolved around 
Ah, but before that, <laughs> this is something I need to remind our members. Huh? Buy on rumor, sell on fact strategy, isn't it? Right? Because they are talking about vaccine coming and vaccine not coming and what do we do? So those are just rumors. So when a vaccine is announced or when they start distributing it, huh? then that's where you want to sell. And that's why a lot of the analysts are raising this issue in here. So something to take note for our, for our audience, our reader, for our fans in like that. Now let's move on to our next story in here. Along the same line, which is also the development of the news news uh, of vaccine development now volume has been pretty high combination of many factors in there the story goes on on uh, a warning which is what i'm going to talk about the pharma niaga which is uh the two pharmaceutical giant in malaysia which is tied to our government in here dual pharma and pharma niaga in here but what really talks about it is all the, i think all of us know which i've been talking almost every day in our money talk, money talk story and also a couple of series which i highlighted last month if you have not watched it go over to youtube we have all those sectors and all those news updated and the reason behind why the market moved up for what it is so check it out on youtube slash trade vsa now along the same line of this is the news of the vaccine it's it's really hopping on even lowering the the prices of the rubber and that's what we are seeing and also uh along the same line but do take note who predicted that a fully workable vaccine for all uh, for all countries uh, is still a long way to go but people are already pricing in and, and analysts being analysts they they try to warn people just like me i'm doing the same thing too i'm just trying to warn you but i like to present the facts to you fact one fact two fact three and then what type of strategy you want to use uh, whether you want to buy on on rumor and sell on facts and use the chart use smart roby uh, and find out the valuation is it expensive is it time to take profit whether you have red pentagon profit target so that way you stay updated and not caught by surprise by just watching this free information that we provide in our breakfast show i think you are almost 95 percent i guarantee more informed than everybody else who hasn't informed or did sort of listen here listen there i heard this i heard that right don't look at the facts and that's why smart roby is here to present it now along the same line uh the same story too is also this two giant pharma where uh pharma nyaga and duo pharma has has been uh uh what we've been taken the task to, to undertake the COVID-19 vaccine packaging process. I really don't know what that means, but I do think that they are not manufacturing. They probably buy bulk, bring it back to Malaysia, and then break it down to smaller doses and, and under a clean room conduction. Now, let's look at the, the market for what it is. Let's look at uh, where is Pharma Niaga, okay? Duo Pharma. Okay, let's hit that one. Let's look at the price here, okay? And, uh, okay, let me hit that button here. Let's look at the chart first. Okay, uh, let's look at the stock price. Where is it now? Stock price today should be up. Who? 27%. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, now let's look at the, uh, the the chart for what it is. Of course, it's reacting to this news. Uh, right? But last week also have it. You can see, right? Kaboom. And, and uh, you know, uh, I think one of the stocks we did uh, pick early on, Dual Pharma. Let me just check on the premium alert. I remember I did pick it too. So you can see this was the market really break up and, and moving up higher. Of course, based on this news, uh, which is on scene. Now let's look at also again is it time to buy of course you want to learn how to time the market you want to wait for a bit of pullback use the technical uh setup to buy this if you're interested let's look at the pharma niaga okay pharma niaga okay okay let's look at pharma niaga and let's look at the stock uh, charts in here should be very similar yep same thing kind of thing you can see pharma nyaga in here really uh, picks up and kaboom move up that a lot that's that's a lot because of this news inside here the COVID-19 uh, these are what I call the late comer or the late mover now some of you may ask you know Martin why isn't a green pentagon despite a wide range bar now in volume spread analysis it's been designed to avoid entry green pentagon for those who make major move like this because sometimes uh, on the uh, algo, we felt that these are distribution bars. So take note of it, why there is no green bar. Something we, we want to teach and you also share with the members in here. All right. Now let's move on to our next news. Very exciting, which is not yet. Bolom datang lagi, tapi must watch. Okay, it's the oil and gas stability. Now, the, the news revolved about the all the utilization of all the oil, uh, oil and gas sector services. So, what they are trying to say in here, look, there is a possibility this thing will come. It's stable because majority, I would say, 40 to 50% of our market caps are really on oil and gas. You know, we got Petronas, we have uh, uh, Petrochem, we got Server Dynamics, we have Dialog, we have Dayang, we have Hibiscus, we have Sapura Energy, you know, a whole lot of them. 
right? So these are so-called, uh, you know, uh, and also Yin Sun. You know, these are oil and gas player too. So very important, something I want to share with our members in here is the relationship between the crude oil prices and the ringgit. That's right. Now, if you look, look at the chart up here, the blue one is our ringgit. The crude oil is the red one. What do you see, members? Okay, type it in there. What? Tell me what you see. Okay, now it's important. Tell me what you see in here. And that's tell you it's an inverse relationship. That's right. Which simply tells you when crude oil prices goes higher, our ringgit will become stronger. That's right. That's something you want to take note of it, right? When ringgit goes higher, it's because of crude oil. Naturally, we all know that, right? But this is a chart that proves it in there. So always take note of the uh, US dollar. If US dollar going up, our ringgit. Uh, uh, will go up too. All right. Now the story also revolved around that what analysts is always been telling uh, that the crude oil prices is consistently above the 40 US dollar. That's right. So it's above the 40 US dollar. So that's say provide some stability and also the much needed cash flow that you know Petrodas needed and also our government coffer needed to do a lot of the uh, building. And you know lah, we all rely on oil and gas, isn't it? Right. And palm oil and and electronics and which is the manufacturing technology part. All right. So these are the things. So so uh, the, the story also share around the uh, utilization rigs, uh, uh, which is above the 60% stable. So that's pretty healthy. All right, good. Okay, now construction is the next sector we're going to focus on, which is, you know, if you're going to move away from rubber glove, you know, as you've seen the COVID-19, how much upside, how much story can analysts and economists or any of those bloggers can play on. But my focus is to shift a lot of our reader and member, what are those in play and learn to read the chart, learn to read what is telling by the, the other sectors. In this case, is construction expected to pick up in third quarter and uh, you know Q3 and a lot of the current valuation are being priced back after the COVID-19, all right? There's a whole loss of them. I think yesterday or uh, I think on my, yes, yesterday uh, my colleague, Zach did cover that on this 9.30 show on the stock analysis and review on the construction shares coming back. So some of those shares like uh, some of those shares are could be engineering based company. Uh, just off my head, uh, I can't think of it. They do a lot of the MRT, ah, yeah, Gamunda, DRB Highcom, right? Uh, those engineering companies in tech here. And the, the key at catalyst they are talking about is the MLT3, which they're going to restart back and also the KL Singapore High Speed, which always been, you know, in our background, been talking since budget 2019, budget 2020. This is ongoing. So a lot on pending is what the media talks about it. If the media talks about it, stock price go up. Like that? Oh? All right. So here we move on to our next story. So our next story is the more exciting one that everybody talk about. Top Glove, 110 ringgit. That's right. Let's look at top glove right now. What is the price top glove? Okay. So you look at top glove right now. You have uh, the prices in here. Top glove should be down. Yep, that's right. Should be down because all good news, ma. Correct. Everybody want to sort of you know you know want to push the share price up, but you know this thing's not gonna move. Okay. Also, let's let's look at the uh, for what it is, and uh, you can see why is this story involved is because one of the analysts again, uh, uh, you can read it out there. It, it's saying, look, you know, despite what it is, you know, uh, this is a chart you can see. Uh, well, every year flat, 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 flat. Uh, uh, in terms of what we call, we can see the quarterly. Uh, uh, profit, uh, which is around 1.2 billion, and then you got the revenue, uh, sorry, revenue 1.2 billion every quarter. La. Then Q3 2020, all right, they just, just close a quarter, shot up uh, almost another 400, uh, 400 million, and the margin usually around 9, 10, just below 10%, and it's gone up 20%. Due to what ASP la, of course, uh, average selling price. That's the one we've been really talking about it. So let's look at the chart wise in here. You can see, and, and this is so. So a lot of people are excited about the past <laughs> because when you look at chart like this, okay. Now this is this is top glove, okay. Like it for what it is, okay. I'm just gonna stretch stretch it up in here. You can see green pentagon happened uh, early July. If you have got in, you are probably maybe around ten percent. But what I want to bring your attention is to this chart. A lot of people are very excited about the past. That's what you see here right the future is very difficult so that's why we rely on the uh, charts price and volume because a lot of the pricing are already pricing we see the climatic action this is something that we talk about in our master class something you want to take note for those of you who want to take it to the higher level 
But what's more important about this is try to be careful when you know they talk about the fair price where top the fair price is 110 ringgit based on a PE of 52 times. I believe this 52 times PE uh, are, are for, um, what we call forward PE. It's like the future earning already been pricing. But if you look at top glove right now for what it is, right? I can I can tell you it's uh, not 52 times or anywhere. You can see top glove shot back up to 100. Previously, when I was looking for it, it went down to about 80 or 60 plus. As the remember, when the price goes higher, the PE will increase. That tells you how expensive is it is. All right. So uh, it's 100. How is it going to get down to 52? So earnings have to match up here. So do take note of this. And also there are some risks involved. Okay. So the risk involved with buying top glove right now is a lot of competition. You know, China, Thailand, and Eastern Europe because you know, but actually China not really like because the big big again uh, we cover that in our talk uh, big big consumption uh, are actually United States and United States won't buy from China so they have to buy to some third party maybe Malaysia yeah that's that's why Malaysia benefit but we all know the big Hoo-ha last week about one activist reported against top glove and and a lot of things got stuck out uh, labor issues and that got stuck at the at the port so u.s customs and border pr uh, protection and coming to take a look at the issue but tan sri lim came in and just said no within one month we will count him everything and then you see top glove move back up so this thing comes out again right so you can see the news start to revolve over time how uh, top glove real so again uh, uh risk number two is raw material costs uh, i do think raw material cost is pretty much controlled because it comes from petroleum petroleum have, haven't really gone up the real issue is issue item number three which is the labor issue u.s cups the people's problem is the most difficult to settle one especially now donald trump running the show of course joe biden everything can count him huh so donald trump is different now you, get, you also see on tv donald trump has changed his tune he's starting to hold his coronavirus briefing already so things might change okay so that's the story we we, we have on that one now let's move on to our next uh, story in here is uh, Iris. Why I brought up Iris is because Iris is one of those turnaround company. I know some of you have heard of Iris. Iris Technology, Martin, are you sure? There's so many hanky banking going on the last 10 years. Huh? But a new management and came in. How do I know that? And they turned around because I actually visited the company. So you can see that's a picture of me in here and wearing my favorite color shirt which is this color too, all right? So you know. So I, I did visit the company I really like about it. I'm really excited about it, the technology, but they are still lagging behind the competitor Data Sonic and MYEG. At that time, I did buy something and you all know what happened to Iris, isn't it? The thing shot up because a lot of small cap stock shot, just like I showed you early on. Many of those uh, uh, small cap stock hasn't moved yet. Sometimes they're moving, really, you know? And on our premium stock alert pick, we're going to address that by picking a couple of good stocks. So if you look from the, um, uh, the the stock price and the comment in here, Iris. Now, like it or not, Iris is very, very expensive. When I bought the time, it was okay. I bought it like 15 cents. Now it's 20, when I'm 28 cents in here. So you can see from the price chart here, right? Uh, somewhere down here, I bought it much, much earlier. And I bought it more on after visiting the company. I have a bit of faith on the management. So part of things that I do for the members, any visit that I've done, uh, I think, uh, remember uh, the, the visit that I, the, the talk last Wednesday I talked about was, uh, I'll rubber, uh, no, sorry, revenue per heart, isn't it, right? Revenue per heart broke up, isn't it? So if you have listened to me la uh, last Wednesday, I talked about revenue. If you bought after that, and I think you're already in the money, maybe uh, eight or nine, ten percent depending. But I did uh, advise some of my members to buy and I did got it some for my clients too. Just take note of it, okay? So that was pretty good. And Iris, I didn't get it. I got one for the client, but pretty, they, they don't like, like the Iris technology because a lot of the share, but I didn't bother and hold it. I made more than 100% gain for this one. So something's very nice, partly because it's a turnaround in here. The whatever around is this, uh, again, uh, the fundamentals are not that good. Huh? If you look at it, fundamentals are pretty pricey. They are turning back in here. The only thing is that so far, they haven't got any projects yet. That's right. A lot of the stuff has been dished out to, uh, you know, the, the big two uh, of Iris competitor, which is their market leader anyway, Datasonic and MYEG. All right. So that's what I want to talk about. All right. Let's move on to our next story is the dividend player. All right. The dividend player on BJ Toto, very fast inside there. No doubt they pay a 7% dividend right now, but it is still pricey because the return on equity is 17 times. You have PE of 21 times. So Robbie only rated one that's right okay but the story behind it is endless again coming in and said look sales are recovering four to five percent per week 
right? They're coming back slowly, but coming back, and they are they are you know keeping the target price for BJ Toto at two dollars eighty. So do take note. Right now, I think uh, let's look at BJ Toto now. Okay, and the stock price uh, we have BJ Toto is two sixteen. Wow. 280 you got another 60 cents which is more than 20 percent return do you like it definitely let's look at the chart wise okay again look at the chart wise right mm. now so what we do we look at the chart wise chart wise is still what ah still orange right? yeah, uh, orange trends so it means downtrend so we can do two things we can wait until the red pentagon come out or you can look at the trading plan and determine from there what is the price the price to enter is 230 that's right 230 280 okay lah, you got 50 cent update or you want to buy at 221 now it's 218 the pullback advanced method something we teach right just know what you're doing if you're buying the pullback entry price and whole period is between five days to two months of course they also robbie suggested pack up oh okay maybe got time to check out pack up but i know some of our members say packed up very expensive <laughs> all right let's move on to our next session in here uh, which is no other than our premium alert. That's right. Now, premium alert, uh, this morning here, I'll pick up Notion B Tank. Let's take a look at premium alert. But before that, let's look at the stock market KLCI in here. And let's see where we are. The market is uh, up two points. <laughs> Yesterday was up six points. So doing 1598. Okay, so everything is all in the Roby in here. And we pick on Monday, we pick, uh, Monday, I remember we did one session on Monday, we picked TDM and KGB. KGB started to move up. KGB is a nice one. I know some of my member told me and you know, I, I start using this, I, I follow the KGB or they sort of follow what I do and what I talk about and pick those things we talk uh, from the share. So TDM, plantation shares, KGB, which is uh, ultra fight, purified gas. Those are the things that they do, right? But today we pick Notion B Tech. Ah, a bonus, right? Now, those of you who have watched me, I talk about Omisti, very nice. Let's take a look at Omisti. Started to bring up. Of course, not all the picks make money. Lah. Some, you know, small loss in here. The big one I want to highlight that this is a nice one in here. Let's look at the stock chart on Omisti, which is, it's a tech base. You can see Break out in here, nice follow through, take out of the up trust. Our member would know what that means, right? <laughs> Strengths are coming in. All right, boom. More on that on our masterclass August 8th. So that's the one that you see on your right hand side description. If you're interested in coming, do uh, register for that one. All right. So this is uh, Omisti, very right now, it's done 13% in here. So let's look at Notion VTech. That's the one I pick, and we'll pick another one. All right. Notion. Okay, let's pick a Notion. Let's look at the stock price. Ah, wow, 9%. Can buy not? We will see. <laughs> Let's look at that one in here. Notion VTech. But I think some of our members early on already pick it up because my trainer, Zach, did highlight it much, much earlier. So those are one of the real benefits. Uh, if we become a member and uh, you know our coach really, well, ah, this is a nice one in here. Good. All right. So we'll pick Notion VTech. That's the one for, for this morning. Let's look at another one. Let's exit from here and uh, go on to the uh, premium alert. All right and you can see uh, oh healthcare ah healthcare same lab taking a cue from the two giant pharma now ysp is a taiwanese healthcare lab so also up uh, uh scgm uh vstack ah vstack got some news ah uh, scom neck okay dnb open sys ah i like open sys let's look at open sys i know one of my clients make a lot of money from open sys so let's talk at open sys uh. so we selected notion vtech and we will select open sys Okay, so let's look at OpenSys and 7.5% gain. All the tech, all the technology sector that comes out on the premium alert, that's the one usually I'm biased towards it because techs are still moving up, okay? Of course, the usual suspect for the rubber glove, remember I picked about uh, care, care plus, uh, comfort glove and rubber racks, if you have it still. This one, nice one here, OpenSys, starting to pick up. It hasn't had green pentagon yet very early right now okay that's the open sys and those are the two stocks so we're going to come back and review on friday okay because on wednesday right now it, we will do that on friday now let's move on to our next section and i want to break you guys off so you guys can go on and do your thing and do share this time now of course here is the tutorial a free tutorial talk about how i select the stocks how you can do so on your time just that i do very quickly less than two seconds in here but you want to follow me i have a, a very short one half an hour tutorial just watch this one on that youtube and 
Again, uh, I display all the historical uh, price movement uh, of the premium alert since we started from 16th of June to 17th of July. Average about uh, 9%. Uh, average about 9 and you win two thirds of the time, right? The highest being 55%. The worst loss was about uh, minus 17. Two double, two mo two double digit only. Uh. Uh, I think Air Asia and the other one is WZ Satu. All right. I think rest of the one is towards uh, a bit more on the moving sector, so you can see pretty good one in here. Uh, I, I do show all my stock picks, so you all know what you guys are going. On. And most important, I always emphasize here is education. Right? Know what you're doing. Learn about those correlations which I talk about. Just for example, the oil and the ringgit. Okay. Learn about the charts in there. We have plenty of tutorial. Everything is for free. Of course, even you're ready, you want to join some of our higher end uh, seminars or package or welcome to. We have a couple in there and there's a number below you can call if you want to find out more. All right. Let's move on to our next one. Ah, tonight. Very good. Ah, tonight, we'll be talking about rubber glove because this was a, a member request and say, hey, no, no, we mix, we make we make a fair bit of money lah, huh? from, from the rubber and so forth and the tech. What are the next sector there? That's right. So we are doing tonight. So make sure you make a date with me, 9.30, okay, on plantation. We'll be talking about FGV, T, SH Resources, and Ta'an, and uh, Al Sawit. I don't know if these shares move or not. Because sometimes people respond and say, oh, Martin will talk this for share. Wow, they sapu in. Uh. Don't do that, okay? Please know the facts first before you go in, right? Just like revenue, uh, or after that, people must oh, now make money. La. Uh, but I'll leave it up to you. La, huh? You see some of I, I don't have any of these plantation stocks. Uh, I don't like plantation stocks, to be frank with you. I prefer the technology one. But for our members and for you, I will do a review and we're going to look at the fundamentals and technicals and also the news revolving very similar to what we talk about top glove okay so do share this in your timeline i'll see you tonight okay so for those of you who are listening for the first time do join our telegram a lot of free 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 stuff free information in there and uh you know do text me you know tell me what you like and what you don't like uh, else i'll see you tonight at 9 30 if not later sooner this is martin wong signing off from our breakfast show money talk with smart roby bye bye